Should be fine. staring at the wall going, ooh, ah, and then you walk in and everyone's like, ah. I'd call it watching paint dry, but the paint was already dry. Well, in this case, it's watching the carpet be still. Watching the aftermath of, of paint dry. Are you okay? I'm okay, I'm just waiting for this. Okay, so an hour 24. Awesome. What? Okay. Cool. What? What's not cool? I didn't uh, say anything. I didn't say you said anything. Seas. But you looked yep. right at me and said awesome. Black and red OCs are like completely like cool. Yeah. yeah. Who has the red and black OC? Oh, oh man, you're all in the loser Tune category critic. now. Yeah. Red and black's where it's at. We're talking about loser category. You also just need to make it an aliquorn. So we're our talking design about me, right? Said that. Yeah. Just, just ask Tune critic. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> no, his OC is as big as this. No, no, remember, anymore. remember he like fused with Lightning Gliss and became Toon Blistermon? Oh my god. <laughs> Toon Blistermon? Oh my god. Yeah. It was like half Digimon, half Steven Universe. Thing. Oh god. <laughs> Toon Blistermon! Okay, seriously, so does somebody that. have a picture of that so I can show Vinci? Oh my god. 
All right. Okay, so oh, we can beautiful see creations. I know, thanks. Beautiful. Oh my god. Oh, ten out of ten. Done. Yeah, I bleed it. What is wrong with the director? Why is it like diagonally across one side? Oh, it's called Keystone. It, it doesn't matter. It's, I mean, the angle. That, that's the mouth. new perspective. <laughs> Pretty neat. <laughs> Pretty neat. It wasn't as good as the virtual. <laughs> so, how's everyone enjoying the convention so far? Yeah? I'm so happy because this is like the biggest it's ever been. I, I think so. <laughs> I don't know. How many people are in attendance this time? Well, I know uh, that 307 were confirmed, but a lot of those were family passes, which means that it didn't count their kids. And, you know, kids could range in up to 17, so. There it is. Isn't, isn't this the most beautiful thing? Oh, oh, I remember seeing that. That's Oh, it was beautiful. Minty. Pretty minuscule. Oh, oh my one God, the edge. There's more edge. This than is a rainbow red and black alicorn OC named Toon Blistermon, which is a com yeah. combination of lightning bliss and Toon Critic. So what okay. you guys need to do now, I... you need to take note of that, yeah. and you never, and you need to make sure that lightning bliss and Toon Critic never live it down. I gotta say, there's more edges in that <laughs> than in the cutscenes for Final <laughs> Fantasy VII. Five, so oh yeah. <laughs> or you know, the blimp. Okay, is everybody going to participate in the art lesson today? Yeah, do you guys want paper and pencils? To Come up and get your paper and pencils! What are they going to draw on, guys? We're going to draw me. This no. giant pack of paper. <laughs> so we're going to just like distribute large sections of paper? Yep. Cool. Everybody come get your paper hey, and pencils. Yeah, he's prepared. Brandon, yes. you're staying. Am I? Yes. Yeah. Pencil? Oh no! Oh, Brandon! No. You're fired! You can't get away like this! You're fired! Come in! You're fired for being my friend! Oh no! Yeah. Cyrus, you already know how to art. Why are you arting again? I'm just kidding. Look. That's Cyrus? Yeah. Hi, I'm Fallen Wish. Hey. Hi. I should have asked. This is a pony convention. Okay, who else wants to come get paper and pencils? Don't be shy. By the way, whoever whoever does the best picture by the end of the day gets a prize. Oh boy. By the end of the panel. Well, I lost. Yep, I'm picking favorite Cyrus one. No. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna okay, I'm gonna I participate. Won. Everyone so teach me to arts. I'm yep. Sure. Teach you to arts? You already think win. you know everything about arts, so there. I if I think I knew everything about uh, arts, we'll go to Minty. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, come on. You <laughs> complain about him behind his back. Yeah. Ooh, no. I'm better than no. everybody. No. I actually tell him to his face. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I tell him to his face. He's not wrong. He tells me always, show, don't tell. And he tells me he's a huge Kevin Smith fan. 1.1. Hey, 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 hey. Kevin Smith can show, don't tell. Yeah, but all the characters do is tell. They talk, they talk, they talk. I like they talk. Kevin's... Oh my god, Ryan, did you see the video? Uh, be careful. No. Should you be doing your back? The video is right behind me. I uploaded it to YouTube. You should check it out later. Cool, the panel is not like doing anything yet. We're discussing being artists before we actually do anything. But yeah. I want to art! Do, do you know the best thing about being an artist? Getting fancy pants. Yay for pens! Oh! I would say shame on you, but that was gone. That was gold. Oh my god! Shame on you. Yeah, we're a PG. Like, we're a PG thing, by the way. Okay, <laughs> can you turn that towards me and let me have? My, my, my panel. Oh, Cargos yeah. are I amazing. Cargos oh, I, would, I would want to get some of these myself, but I don't work on set anymore. Oh, no. <laughs> he looks like he's <laughs> licking his hand. No, he's going to be like doing this thing. Like, there, there's open ones, by the way. Now we got to have the rest of it. <laughs> so, guys, how do you rate Coin Plays OC? <laughs> I have a better idea. Okay. So, how are we starting this panel? Okay, so we're all going to talk about how we became artists and when. We are? Yep. <laughs> oh boy. 
Wait, there was a beginning to that? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I mean I Minty Root just it. fell out of the womb with a tablet just in his like hand. Just like about and being an artist. Yeah. Yeah. On his butt. yeah, I mean, yeah. Ryan, that explains why up. my tablet is so old. I thought I signed away my life to shut draw up. Satan. Yes, like, shut up. I fell out. Yeah. Well, you invited me. <laughs> I didn't think I didn't. Let's, I we all see how much of a mistake that was. It's my favorite mistake. Director wasn't the most easy thing on our panel either. Your panel. I don't know why I said Alex. Well, there's no kids around, so we're going to just traumatize adults. Yay. It's all right. Adults can use more trauma. Thicker skin, Ew. You know? Okay, guys. Okay. Guys. All right. So. Horses. Okay, now we know about Sarah. the non-existent mic work. <laughs> Did you just refer to her by her name? That's a sin for artists. Yeah, Fallen. Yeah, why are you doxing Brittany. people? Yeah, Brittany. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's start. <laughs> and let's call each yeah, other by our freaking horse names. <laughs> he doesn't know my real <laughs> name. There's nothing. There's no kids. I never ever, <laughs> yeah, so I never so ever cared easy. to learn it. Okay. Except that one. Then I'm going to give you a, a big challenge. Jersey. Yeah, that's obviously. Try yeah, to that, that's a child name. over there. I that's know not a child. <laughs> Alexander. Oh. <laughs> okay. So. Um, you didn't even need to. Clearly yeah. nobody in this panel is the most PG. But I think I'm the most PG out of all of you. You're a cinnamon no. roll. No, I'm, I'm, I'm There is a rainbow dash out there. Uh, We're supposed to be doing a rainbow dash. Everyone run, go cuddle it. Hi. It's like a full body costumed rainbow dash. Also furry? I guess. <laughs> all right, so everybody's going to go through, like, there's all different kinds of artists. Some have been to school, some haven't. And we're going to talk about us being artists and whether we have schooling for it or not, what we're doing, Ryan, stop. What we're doing, and, and Sarah's going to go, but Fish is going to go first. Or, I am. <laughs> yes. Uh, so, uh, what do I say? Did you go to school for it? Do you, how oh, long have you been I, doing it? Why are you an artist? I guess I started when I was like 10 because I got really into... Brandon, get back in here! I'm not really I got like really into this one cartoon and I wanted to make an OC for it and it was literally this neon green box made in MS Paint and the circle pool. <laughs> um, and that was that was it and then I started drawing and I uh, I haven't gone to school because I'm only 17 so I have gone technically I've gone to school because I've gone to every single art class in my middle school, and then in my high school, I went to digital media one and two, and then I went to graphic design one and two, and then the graphic design teacher asked me to be in this special class that you can only be invited to called commercial arts and illustration. So I've been to all of those, and I think I also went to art 101 in high school. So that's about it. Um, I've, I guess I've been in the pony fandom since like 2014. And I started commissions back at the beginning of 2015. I can't believe and I I was too late. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know where my life went after that. So, Coin Slay is your turn. Oh, okay. Um, I'm Coin Slay. I uh, started art at a very young age. Uh, I took it, started taking it seriously though when I was about 12 years old. Um, the most education I have is. AP art classes and tutoring for my dad, who is a game designer, concept artist, and uh, freelance artist. So I took a lot of like pointers from him. Um, what else was I supposed to say? Is that about it? Yeah. Uh. Fallen, it's your turn. <laughs> Okay, so I've actually never really had schooling for it either. I had the odd art class in school. Um, but like, for as long as I can remember, I've been drawing and it was only about last year that I started doing a lot of digital art and selling it online, like doing commissions and whatever. Uh, I don't know, I've just kind of always enjoyed drawing and I guess I'm okay for not having lessons and stuff, but. Um, it's, it is something I really do enjoy doing, though. Like, 
everybody has these ideas and thoughts in their head, and I think as an artist, it's really cool to be able to put them, make them come to life, you know? Like, a dream, a thought, a wish. It, anything is possible when you're an artist. Trust me, he just drew a turtle named Looney with Toon Critic's hat on his back and called it Loon Critic. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Yet. I wish you knew the joke behind that. Well, I mean, didn't know the joke was all read. But so, he looks like Toon Critic. We put Looney's hat on his l head last night and took a picture of it and called him Loon Critic 2.0. But I thought Toon Critic... Or Loon, Loon Critic Y2.0 or something. I don't know. Also, am I the only one who thinks that Toon Critic looks like a budget m markiplier? <laughs> Let's be nice. <laughs> That's not minty. That is raging hot cinnamon. Right now. That's spicy. Your turn. Spicy. I know you've had schooling, so go ahead. Okay, so basically, uh, back in high school, we had the plastic art uh, classes, and yeah, they, they called it off plastic, which is basically just a class where you, um, where you do some projects like, uh, you know, you just you either draw on paper or you just make some kind of scrapbook. Or you kind of, uh, you go with some sculptures, but it was just really, really pretentious art that didn't really get the feel that I wanted. And of, of course, one of the problems I had with those classes is that they wouldn't let me go explore with um, more that more recent tech uh, or actually recent technology. But, but they didn't let me draw with a mechanical pencil, and I, since yeah, basically, basically the the teacher just told just told me no, you can't use a mechanical pencil because it's gonna ruin the feel. And I was thinking, no, it just doesn't make sense. The tip of the mechanical pencil just always keep, stays consistent. It just feels just right. You so that way your lines are gonna feel the same. Uh, or the, they're gonna feel the same uh, unless well, basically how much you press on the on the lead and how much you press and that's one of the things that disgusted me and there was a, also that well I say disgusted but basically dis disappointed me in arts and I just felt it was some kind of pretentious thing even though well there there was a lot of painters I really liked like uh, MC Etcher the one who drew uh, well it, technically it was mostly lithography but you know the, the the painting with uh, all the stairs that go in all the directions, that's him. He did a lot of stuff like that and he was really interested in perspective and was that I love his work that felt it was a lot of solid objects but it felt right. And yeah. But basically the uh, uh, going back basically I couldn't really do anything digital. I didn't really have any class in Photoshop or so the only thing that I had that was close to what I'm doing right now is that I had flash and I could just do some movements. And basically I was doing that. I was uh, decided to make my own movies but based on assets that other people made until it just struck me that I could modify those assets on my own, put some filters, change the colors, change the mood. And that's one of the things that made me uh, get an interest in, um, in art. Well, I say in art, mostly in animation, and I, I decided to go and to do my own uh, short film for the final final project. Uh, well, for my final high school project, and <laughs> why don't you just keep talking and ignore it? Because I'm bad at it. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, sorry, I'm not good at. With distractions, but anyway, I had the final high school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you did you uh, originally start out as an artist and then nope. move to animation, or did you just always know you were going to animate? I uh, kind of always knew I wanted to animate because back as a kid, I wanted to do my own cartoon. Although back in the days, I didn't know what it was a self insert, so it was a self insert. I mean, I was not very original with my ideas, so. I just did that. I just my did my own uh, self-insert ideas that I never really got to do uh, until I decided to do my high school final project. Based on that, I did my own short film, which was kind of stupid. 
and people liked it and this made me want to go in animation but then again my father just told me that animation was not really something worth uh, well not something that I should do and he basically convinced me to go to do two, two years in engineering and I did two years in engineering and I hated it so badly until I reali realized with, uh, uh, with the show that yeah animation could be something great I went to Pronicon 2013 and I was just amazed by how animation could push people to do other things and are you, are you gonna stop talking and let him go? and yeah basically I decided to go study animation uh, because of Bronicon. NEXT! <laughs> oh that was me. May I take your order? What? Your turn. I like surprise that I say. We, we are actually up to like we're up to 5.25, and I, want, yeah. and yep. I would think that we should start the artist thing at yep. uh, 5.30. Yeah. So I guess uh, to keep it short and swim, uh, swimple, I'm going to be very swimple with you guys. He's going to swim through this. So uh, I'm going to give you the short version. If you guys actually want to hear the longer version of this story, uh, I do have a panel later on tonight where I'm going to go in more depth about how I became an artist and why. But the basic idea was that... Uh, it's it's a somewhat of an arrogant reason that I became an artist, and uh, Minty had once pointed that out to me. That's my relationship with Minty. We both insult each other, and we're okay with it. Uh -huh. uh, That's a true friendship. Um, and anyway, the whole idea was that I couldn't find anything in the world that I was particularly enjoying. As a kid, I enjoyed Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. I'm sure they've at least heard of it. it. Was it the show about the three guys who did stuff and at yeah. the end it didn't go well? Yeah, they was did it stuff the show well. about the three guys who did stuff? <laughs> so, right, no. Yeah. I thought that was the Three Stooges. <laughs> oh, and it, 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 it is the Three Stooges. Now that makes sense. Oh, oh my God. God. So, having said that, uh, there wasn't a lot of stuff in the world that I enjoyed. It was, there was very little. Instead, uh, what wound up happening is when it came to art, everything was a study for me. I was looking at why things worked, and my idea was, well, I need to take what works in the films I don't like, and then I need to start doing things that I like. So that at least when I die, I can go watch my own stuff and go, ha, 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 I actually like this. So... That's pretty much it. I did have some schooling, but I dropped out to continue being an artist. It, believe me, it actually worked out better in my case. But that, that's pretty much it. It's that simple. Just pick up the paper and do stuff. Just do it. Be Shia LaBeouf. Don't let your memes be memes. So do you guys like my beautiful coloring? Isn't it great? Horse. You it's forgot to pull in the back of your mane. Oh wait, is that your other wing? No, that's the mane. Give me a second. I did it. <laughs> okay. So, if you guys want a paper, this is like, dude, we bought all this paper and only a couple of you took it. Like, we bought so many pencils and so much paper. Uh oh. Thank you. 17. We gotta do 17. Oh, shoot, I did 18. I like that number, just you gotta do 17. Okay, so. So, this is a circle. No, that's not a circle. My turn! My panel! Stevie Nye! Did I just sound like I said Stevie Nye? I'm this without looking at the laptop. Turning it. A drawing. Being an artist panel. That is your kind of panel. Yep. That is your kind of panel, sir. And thus, you're an artist. Please make that go away. This is How do you want to do? Hi, Cartoon Eric. But that's who you are? He's not a cartoon. Yeah, that's Cartoon Eric. I look you gotta forward sign the... to Wait, seeing you what you also? create during no, this panel. Know. I don't know. You're very silly, man. You got some silly stuff in there. I thought he was. Am I drawing a fire-breathing sunburst? Do it! Okay, so yeah, we're doing a drawing panel, or being an artist panel, and we're going to give them a simple drawing lesson. Are you sure you can do that from here? Do you want me to do it? No, I can do that. You don't know how I do my simplistic bull crap stuff. I don't think you can tell which is which. I can see. 
No, I don't think paper, you can tell. Paper, acrylic. No, literally what none of these good? brushes make sense. That's what I'm saying. I'm just using this one. But that's not Photoshop. I will smack you. You will. Is that Minty Root in Toon Critic's hat? Yeah. Why? Why not? She okay, stole okay. him from him. All right, so basically the next thing that we're going to talk about is how artists all have their different way of doing stuff. Some will just start out with a picture and keep going. And yay, there's a face and whatever, you know. That's really rough and crappy. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like some people will look at a picture and do something or whatnot. And I use Photoshop. But the way I do it is I do a rough sketch first and then go over it on a separate layer with line art. Or do it on paper. So that was just going to be the lesson today. I'll do it. I'm going to show you how we do the step. It's going to look really bad because I usually take a lot of time on my art. I'm one of those artists that like has to get everything perfect and will sit there and sit there and sit there for hours until it's right, you know. And then... So, um, so we'll show you how to, how I do this. You start out with circles. Circles is the most easy thing to do. General shapes within the body. Uh, for those back. of us who were at the design oh. panel, you'll remember the, uh, what we were talking about with the, uh, uh, silhouetting and, uh, uh, figure shapes for characters. Now would be a good time to apply that method. Um, yes. You don't. You draw the face first and you erase everything else. Yeah. Just like, Just like Spongebob, right? <laughs> it, yeah, no, it was Spongebob. It was, it was Spongebob. Squidward drew the circle first. So I'm going to try and do a show style muzzle because mine are bubble muzzles. It'll be like Like I don't that. even draw circles. So I That's am not good muzzle. at drawing circles. So yeah. So we are doing circles for the main part of the body. you got to kind of know anatomy. And if you have problems lining up the body with where it's supposed to go, oh. looking at anatomy sheets is a very helpful thing. Since you guys are working on paper, please remember that since this is a tablet, this is okay. But keep your sketches light. Yeah. Making them super dark is not a good idea. We couldn't afford to get you erasers. Yeah. yeah. Well, I didn't mean that Actually, a technique I used to do back in the days is if it was too uh, dark, I would just take another sheet and just put it back above and just draw. And it well, worked. That's tracing. No, I'm kidding. Well, that's tracing, yes. Oh, but it's tracing your own stuff. Yeah. No, I'm joking. That's like. <laughs> I get that joke. See, you're gonna. I do fuzzy chest, so I'm gonna do my fuzzy chest. You wanna get the basic shape of the character. Yeah, and everyone has their different styles, so you want to learn that? that story, or style. You want to learn that style, and you don't want to just copy someone else's, so that's always good to remember when taking drawing lessons, is that you shouldn't just copy someone else's. Yeah. But Actually, there's nothing thing. wrong with you, taking... You can adapt other people's styles to be yourself. Yeah. To be your own. You can take things from it you like. Like, this is how I do ears. I like big, floppy ears. The, uh, but the show ears are more Girls, like uh, that. Great artist mimic, or good artist mimic. Just great artist one mimic. picture <laughs> like that. It's not even. That's, that's not even a joke either. That's a, not even a joke. Tell me when to control you. Oh, okay. You don't need to yet. You couldn't set it to a shortcut. Is that mine? Who's got Skype going in here? I hear Skype ringing. Oh my god, it's my phone in the <laughs> back filming. <laughs> oh boy, that's going to be my good favorite. Job. Right. <laughs> so because, job. because I suck at show style muzzles, which would be something General like that. General going out. Hang up. Okay, that was bad. Can you control <laughs> okay. me then? Yeah. That's fine. How come you didn't turn off Skype? Okay, control. Yeah, okay, don't I can't do, do mayor don't muzzles. Don't do show style, just do your style. Oh, well mine's or bubble muzzle then. That's fine. So that's kind of my style with the muzzle. Yeah. See, that's how I do my female muzzle is like a bubble. I call them bubble muzzles. They're all just ducks. Whereas the stallion would be more like. That is 
Oh, beef fish. Beautiful. You forgot the Something like that, you know? You spelled my name wrong. <laughs> 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 Everyone trolls me this <laughs> No, you should Multiple you shouldn't know the reference. What? One more. Do you do you know the the Yes, I do. Oh. Okay. So we're doing a mayor here. Uh whose character do we want? What character from the show do we want to do? Mm. A character. Yeah. Everyone should just do Twilight, so we have different versions. Uh, yeah, everybody draw Twilight. Well, I mean, not right now. Well, everybody should be doing this circle thing as I'm doing them. Everybody should be... No, they, they don't have to follow you. They yeah, they don't have to follow you. They just no, have to but just, like, them. draw your own kind of stuff. That's what the paper's for. They should be working as we're talking. You don't have to do you exactly what you're yeah. doing. Yeah, go, go back to your work. <laughs> Name Ju. So, you can either just make a hoof like that, and you can control do that. That's horrible. Yeah, see, that's a triangle. <laughs> Get rid of the rest of it, too. Okay. So, usually what I do is I, I will draw other circles to show where I want the foot. Every circle is a joint. The shoulder joint is going to be right here. So, it would be like... Right? That's horrible. I gotta tell you, if uh, every shoulder I had was a joint, I'd be rich. Eh, hey, yeah. really? But <laughs> <Well>, good job. <journey. laughs> I tried. I have failing miserably. Th that's your dad joke for the day, guys. Remember, dad jokes are really mean. Dad jokes are bad jokes. Yep. So take See, circles. All the circles are joints. Do 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 do. And that wraps into anatomy. Because if you look at the skeleton of a horse, every joint is bald. You can see where it'll move. Why don't we just draw a pony and not exactly make it a certain pony? Because yeah, I don't care. Yeah, there's no. I was asking who I should draw. Can I know draw there's not hair time. Hair okay. Just don't add hair or anything. So you can add the uh, whatever. Uh, let's just do an alicorn anyways, so we can show you the wings and the horn. So if the wings are folded down, you're gonna want to go like this. I like big wings. I mean, you're big as this. So. And then horn. Yeah, but we shouldn't quote that, Tracer. What I'm saying is, if you take inspiration from another artist and draw similar know. to their art style... So basically, it's not circle by circle, you can kill that. Like, Don't also forget, uh, game designers and concept artists also do that process called photo bashing. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so, and photo bashing is extremely helpful. I mean, that's what I did for the gun promo. Keeping it, and we're making another layer of points. Yeah, that's what I did. 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 Yeah, that's what Thanks, David. So, yeah, that's how I do them. I do them circle by circle. Oh, uh, when you said, you said joint. Oh, my uh -huh. God. How dare you? How dare you, sir? She was talking about joints. You can just change it. Yeah, my man, Minty. You took, you took my joke to the literal extreme. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that was how I draw. I use circles. I like using circles to do what I do. Uh, the one thing that I had done here, this, where you get the circle with the cross through it, that's marking out where your face is going to be. So you're going to want the muzzle right where it crosses and the eyes right in between these, like there, right? And then the mouth goes under. That's what that line was when I did that. Because that's 
leveling where your face is going to be or whatever. So, okay. Anyways, so yeah, I do mine with circles and joints and whatnot. What do you do, Queen's uh, okay. I do something similar to that. I always start out with a circle for a head, and then I um, start off from that. I just use, like, simple shapes that I recognize that make a body for a pony. So, like, the body is... Oh, that looks really terrible. Oh. Um, um, there you go. That's right, so, um, so for the body, I... Why do I do things? Okay, I, for the body, I usually do, like, a beanish kind of shape, you know, to, like, make it look like something you eat, like a potato or something. I don't know. Whatever that reminds you of. Little ears. I mean, I could tell you what it reminds me of, but it probably wouldn't be PG. Yeah, um, but we're not talking about bears. And then I usually add, like, uh, a love for a nose. And just, like, you know, you can watch what I'm doing and see what I do. You know, and, like, do that, do that, and then if I'm doing a horn, I usually, like, I hate drawing horns on horses. I don't know why. They just don't look natural to me, so I don't like doing it. Because they aren't natural. That's oh. true. <laughs> How oh, dare I you? Illusion? What illusion are we speaking of? Drawing legs, you don't make them like straight lines or it looks like yeah. they're like have something. Well, I mean. If they. Oh, boy, that horse would not be able to stand yeah. back. Thank you. Yeah, but. Okay, so. <laughs> and for the back legs, I usually go like this, like that, make sure it goes right leg, and do the same thing, like that, that, erase, lines like, ah, I'm not looking at them, pressing these down, erase, lines I do not need. If, I do, if I'm drawing a dude pony, I usually like just take off the top part, so what is that? It's a dude pony now. What? Okay. I'm out of Okay. So Where's the other back leg? Um, it's I dead. Know. I just didn't he, want to draw he's it. He's decap decapitated. He's handicapped. I just didn't want to draw it. Nothing wrong with handicapped ponies. Yeah, you, mean, you mean he's hoofed decapped? You guys are in Oh. Uh, oops. <laughs> wow. Something that you guys that went on. way <laughs> over my head. <laughs> You'd be surprised how much art, in, especially in its uh, early stages, is just purely abstracting uh, uh, conceptually. So, you know, when you're sitting there designing and you're having fun, you, know, you do a lot of what, like, uh, Minty and Bee Fish, they're doing here, where they're just kind of making it up as they go along. I mean, no, it's a, sort of a, a lot of artists tend to enjoy the flow of consciousness, as it's called. Well, just the fact that you just have nothing uh, as well at first, and you just get the final result at the very, very end, instead of really just uh, think, think of it like uh, some instructions. You already know what it's going to look like uh, when you do a recipe. You know what your, I don't know, your pie is going to look like. So you, you won't get that much of a surprise as like, for example, if you're going with a drawing that you don't trace, obviously. So you're going to have that idea in your head that you want to fix. And the, pro the, the problem with a lot of people is that they go with uh, an idea in their head and they're disappointed because it didn't go as they intended instead of going with the, you know, taking risk and opportunities, like, you know, making mistakes and taking advantage of that mistake. Like Derpy Hooves. I mean, nobody would have thought that uh, gray, uh, and, uh, gray and yellow Pegasus with derp dye would... Um... Well, well, the thing with that is that I... Well, I don't know if it's a computer error or a uh, human. Well, the thing is Flash doesn't do that kind of mistake. It's gonna... Well, it's going to have some weird uh, rasterization errors or just crash in your face, but from experience, Flash never made that kind of uh, 
but yeah, the pipeline is just really, yeah, that, as, as I say. I mean, it's I gonna, actually have made that mistake several times in Flash where I have the eyes made a certain way on my puppet where if I move them a certain way, it will completely cross-eye it by accident. And so that thing can happen in Flash. Something in order to stop you guys from getting like discouraged or anything like that when you're working, um, it's actually pretty normal for you had to have a vision in your head and then you can draw that as exactly as you like and it might not come out right. And that's just because humans have a biological tendency to abstract things in their mind. Really, um, the people who tend to draw things very exact are people who are like architects who understand where nails and screws have to go and stuff like that in order to make a building hold up. They tend to be able to make these uh, very, very detailed, skilled drawings uh, only purely because they've learned the material that they're drawing uh, so in depth. You know, for example, you know, people will often draw bikes wrong, and that's a simple test that a lot of uh, teachers will give in university, is they'll, uh, they'll tell you to draw a bike, and then They'll bring in a real bike and they'll see how close your drawing is to reality. A proof of this concept is that children tend to draw all houses with steeples and smokestacks, but it's amazing how many houses don't actually have steeples and smokestacks. Like mine. So, you know, and then children tend to draw humans as stick figures. We don't look anything like that, but we identify with it. So, we have a tendency to abstract. So, don't get down. When you have a vision, what it really means is, and it's not coming out the way you think it should, it, what it really means is it's just refinement and study. It's actually not too difficult. Just a little bit of, you know, a reference or two can help out, maybe take an anatomy class. Also, nothing wrong with uh, going with experimentation. Like, oh, yeah. you have an um, almost done piece of art and you're wondering, what if I go with warmer colors, or I go with a contrast, or I try to desaturate the, uh, the entire background? What if I do that? What would it give for a final result? And from personal experience, I just loved it. Okay, so I guess with the way that Coinslay and Fallen Draw. I mostly draw a lot like coin clay where I don't really do the circles and stuff. I probably should. Um, so it just uh, helps with anatomy. I'm bad at anatomy. It helps when you're like learning how to draw anatomy, but once you get a lot of practice, then you can really just sketch it out without having to draw like a skeleton. Yeah. A skeleton. So like I start with the with the head here, and I sort of just go from where it is and draw what I can, like that. I obviously draw stuff in different orders and sort of in different ways, but not really. Is that supposed to be the muzzle? Yes. Oh. Uh, something that uh, like, Minty might be. Oh, I'm sorry. My apologies. Uh, and then, like, for well, the cheek, I always art. like having a very soft or, style, oh, so I end up just drawing. This is just the cheek here. Um, and then the muzzle would be like right here. And then the eyes would be right here. And I just sort of sketch them in. My eyes are really big. <laughs> um, and then like with wings, I'm a very simple person. So I know that I used to draw them like this. And I never really liked how that turned out, and I think the show style is, how do I show style? It's something like this. I'm probably really wrong. Uh, but mine are literally just like ovals. That's, that's it. Those are my wings. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, there we go. Um, that, that's wings, not hair. And then like a horn, I just go into the middle and I draw like this little triangle and then I always draw this thing so that it shows that there's, it's actually there. What? Sort of base. Yeah. Um, and then there are the horns and that's a horse. A horse. Well, uh, close enough. Shoot, I got it wrong. 
Yep. Cuter. I'm trying way too hard on this. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, sorry. So obviously we have like really different styles here. Yeah, Wait, to each other. Like they're the same derpy. Oh, derpy. Oh. But yeah. I <laughs> That is horrible. It looks like hers is mouthy mine. So the bit, the biggest thing about if you guys want to become an artist is finding a style and a technique that's all your own and works best for you. If you, if you work best with circles to get the anatomy right, then use circles. If you can just real style it, freestyle it. And everybody has their own individual things that are unique to them, like the bubble muzzles. Like, my mu muzzles are really bubbly. I also have very long legs in my characters, and um, they're more, I don't know, less pony, more horse-like kind of thing. Everybody's got their own styles. Everybody's got their own t techniques of drawing, and if you want to be an artist, the best thing is to figure out what your style and what your technique is going to be. So, what am I saying? Uh, style? Take to heart that that developing a style is very a long and complex. Alrighty, thing. yeah, that's good. Sorry, yeah. finish what you were saying. <laughs> finish what you're saying, then we'll do Q and A. Right. Uh, so style is don't get down when you're developing. Uh, really, when you're going, make sure to just acquire the the skills before you start developing your art style because knowing the rules and how to break them or twist them in your favor is what's going to help you create a style. And it's, it's probably something that might, uh, something defining is something that might be years of work. So, and it's usually ever evolving. If you look at Beefish's artwork, it evolves very, very quickly, like from month to month, from year to year. You can see definite changes in her heart, artwork consistently. It's just I ever evolving. I wish I could bring it up, but uh, I don't have Wi-Fi. Yeah, don't get There's down. There's free Wi-Fi at the time. Oh, it's at the hotel. Or, wait, no, my laptop has up. Uh, it's fine, don't worry. Oh, look at her fabulous collab. Yeah. So, guys, do you guys have any questions about artists or any of us? Or and who do you wish to direct them to? Please include that. Unless it's, like, for everyone. Yeah. Uh, we never introduced ourselves at the beginning. Do you mean per piece or just, you know, on an average day? I mean, everybody yells at me for I normally spend uh, like most of my day doing it because I have nothing else to do and I'm not good at anything else, so it's all I do. Uh, so, yeah, I'd say most of the day. Well, my case, I just, uh, well, for example, uh, now, now I'm getting a job where I, I end my job at 6, uh, well, 6 p.m., so I'm basically just going to go with uh, 6 p.m., I eat, and I just art until 4 a.m. in the morning, and I wonder why I'm not sleeping too well, but, I mean, that's a bit the, uh, yeah. but I can't really say that all that time is dedicated to art, because once in a while, I just, but it's going to happen to a lot of people. I'm just going to blank out and just not be uh, and very be very effective. And that's going to happen to a lot of people. So some people, well, in my case, I'm going to go with uh, finding a YouTube video to just watch, try to find uh, some white noise to ch change my mood or try to talk about the stuff to some friends just to, you know, try to remind myself that the world is still running. Because... Yeah, there's a lot of time where you just don't realize that uh, that the world's running and that you're freaking out about a little thing. Uh, and most people won't care too much about it. So you do that too much, though. Indeed. I mean, at least 
At least I'm finally aware of that. Get some sleep, man. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> um, um, I'm sorry, could you repeat the question? I was really in this. Uh, this is kind of a complex question for me because most of my work is usually done for someone else. It's usually via commission or something like that. I rarely get to do projects for myself. Now, um, in the last couple of years, it was from sunup to sundown. If I wasn't tired, I was animating or drawing. Uh, in recent years, I have learned how horrible that was for my health because I grew fat really quickly. And I'm trying to fix that. I found out that I had to make a schedule because I learned that in my tired hours, I was becoming a very ineffective, sloppy animator. And so nowadays, I tend to do it in a sort of a work style way. If, as soon as I wake up, it's eight hours. And then I'm done. And I need to stay done. And I have to fight any urges to continue. Or else I might die. OK, now it's point clear. Um, so I draw, like, sometimes, I, some days I spend a whole day on one painting. Or sometimes I just, like, doodle in Photoshop for, like, a few minutes. And then I play, like, in, like, two hours straight of Overwatch because I'm addicted to that game. Most of the time it just matters if I, if I have an idea, inspiration, or like I have to get something out of my head that's been bugging me for a really long time. So it really just depends on the day and like what my thought process is. I don't actually draw as much as I used to. Like, I love drawing a lot. I probably draw at least once a day, but on any one piece of art, if I want it to be actually good and not whatever that was, I, I have to spend probably up to two, three hours doing line work and the rough sketching. Then probably another two to three hours doing um, the coloring, the shading, the highlighting. At the end of the day, it looks okay. I mean, everybody's their own worst critic, and but I've been told I'm okay, I guess. <laughs> it's, it's, it, I have to, it's, it's something that takes a lot of patience for me, and it's something that takes a lot of time for me to get it looking right. Like, this is already better than whatever was on that screen, right? <laughs> it's, I don't, I don't know. It takes me a long time to do it, so generally it depends on what mood I'm in if I want to draw. If I'm upset, I'll draw vent art. If I have commissions, I'll draw commissions. If I just suddenly get hit with inspiration, like Minty Root wearing a tutu and balancing a turtle on her head, then I'm talking about Yoshi, not you. Ma'am. I mean, I'd like to see him wearing a tutu with a turtle on his head, too. I don't know. Then, uh, then I draw girl. that. Like, there's sometimes I just get the, the randomest ideas, and I think they're great. Like, I love drawing this guy's OC. He has a cool ass dragon OC, and it is you, one of the. You, you, <laughs> Again, no children except the dragon. He has an awesome dragon OC. <laughs> it is a green I'm, dragon, I'm and. Oh, dear. oh yeah. Yes, I love sunburst. You know, you mean Diet Star Swirl? Diet Star Swirl? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Did you see the guy in the first Star Swirl cosplay? Yeah. He went to my battle, but he didn't see my animation. So are there Star any Swirl. more questions after that? I thought you were. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Don't be shy. That's fine. I mean, I I really enjoy drawing, but I find it hard to actually
Yeah. So anybody who drew anything and wants to maybe win a prize, bring your pictures up to the front. That was the last thing. Well, we're not keeping them. No, we just want to see. I love Sunburst. Sunburst is the best one. That one already wins. I love it. Wait, what? Oh, my God. That is beautiful. Oh, Rubik's Cube Twilight. Yep. I don't know. The way she's doing is like... But they're all white. She just moved the stickers. All I got is this. Look at what Minty and I collabed on. I never... I never wanted Nice. Uh, it's a right screaming out. derpy. I made, uh, we'll see. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I was worried I was going to be late. I'm going to sign it. Ah, cool. Yeah. 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 You sign it too? Yeah. 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 I'm going to keep this in front of me. Nice. I love it. I think he wins, though. I, like I really like his Twilight. Yeah. Yeah. I really yeah. like Sunbird. You just like Twilight. No, I really like his art. I'm not even a big Twilight fan. Yeah, she's a Okay, how about we give them both a prize then? Both of them. I don't know. I really like that sunburst. Well, I, I know. I love sunburst. Sunburst is the best pony. Yeah, again, sunburst sunburst except for Jerry Jungle with habanero. No, whoever whoever wins gets buttons for my table. Classic uh, cartoon okay, gag cool. where a character eats something so spicy they spew fire. I love that picture. Just remember what happened. Just remember what happened to Pinky when she tried to taste the rainbow. Yeah. I love sunburst. Is this for you, Minty. I call it anime. Sunburst is amazing. You're so kawaii, Desu. He's a two. He'll be all right. What the. You're so kawaii desu. Did you like work on this the whole panel? Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's, so That's cool. cool. Oh, Did you draw? Yeah. This is Anna Minty. I tried Twilight. Cool. I like that. Actually, one. who all drew? I'm Drew. Okay, anybody who drew a picture, come here and tell me your name. And if you swing by my panel, I'll give you all a button. Oh, by the way, for the. Wait, which one? One of them. Uh, oh, okay, because, well, I have, you have to Yeah, my vendor table, sorry. I'm the one right inside the door. What's your name? Um, my first panel is behind the scenes. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about animation and stuff like that. Okay, well, then, like, I'll find out, like, Anybody else? Right, um, you can join me for my super...